Everyone's been asking me if they can see my garden and I'd like to show you guys how it looks so let me take you on a brief garden tour okay there you go This is my trash cover that I just recently made. Hide away from all that. So that way when you're looking from over there, you see the blinds and no trash. Uh, just try not to mind this little pile of rubble over here. But what I do have here is our wonderful pomegranate tree. It's doing very well in Texas weather. What we have here is our apple tree which is doing very good although we only do have our first fruit just the one which happens to be a crispin apple right there if you can read that well let's see will it focus I don't think it's gonna focus there we go it is a crispin apple this is a grafted apple tree with three varieties, a Crispin, a Fuji, and a Gala, and a Gala, 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 all in one. But right now it looks like, oh actually we have two. We have one right here which is also a Crispin, so we have two, two Crispin apples. We have yet to have a Fuji and a Gala. Okay. And what we have here is our three lantern holder I made this out of same thing as these fence woods right here sand it down nicely so that way it'll be all nice and straight very beautifully made if you guys want to see a video on that I can show you I do believe I have a video on it I just haven't finished editing it but when I get to it you'll be the first to see if you subscribe to my channel this here is also made by the same type of material that I made that which is our fence wood a little planner box that I made Painting it black, nice and even with mitered corners. Same thing with the top. And what it's holding is our golden bamboo. We got them when they were about this tall, about two feet tall, and we've had them for about a year and a half. And they've been blooming. We've been using them for screens, and they're really, really doing very well in this weather. They like it where they're at. What I did do is, uh, just for FYI, they're very invasive roots, so I wouldn't suggest them planting them into the ground if you don't really have a place that you want these roots to go crazy on. I kept them in 30 gallon pots and they're all encased in the box. The roots are encased in their own pots and they're doing very well even with a 30 gallon pot. I'm sure they can grow even bigger if they weren't, but you know. I don't really want them to go that crazy, so that's our 30 gallon pots. And they're doing very well. I do have two of these lanterns, which do really look nice in the night. I did intend to have three of these lanterns, one, two, and three. But right now, all I can get is just the two. So that's why they do have their holders here. If I decided to put three more, I can. One right here. As well as one more right here. But for now, I just left them as is. I do like them the way they are. They do stand alone in the ground. 
They had their own post in the bottom. They're all standalone, so there's nothing holding them from the back other than what's in the ground. And it works very well. And what we have here is our mini planner box, which I also did a video on. I just haven't put it up. So if you subscribe, be looking forward to that video. Is our Holly. We have double knockouts. We have these guys. Those little perennial plants here. And we made this out of normal fence wood. Just your pine. Was it? Yeah, Douglas fir fence woods is what I use here. And that right on the bottom is a two by six uh, Douglas uh, pre pressure treated wood all the way down it wasn't long enough so i went ahead and made it like this so that way it'll be jointed the wood itself weren't long enough so i joined them as well they'll join as nicely as they can they are waterproof so it should last the test of time what we have here is our peach tree a red baron peach tree this baby tree it's doing so well in this weather it's it's going very nicely we last year we were only able to get maybe about less than six this year we just happen to have abundance of fruit this year you got two right there you got three right there you got two more back there and another set right here just it's it's phenomenal right now it's loving the weather ever since the last winter that we had it wasn't too bad of a winter compared to that very crazy winter that we had here in Texas. I managed to be able to help all my trees survive by actually keeping them in the garage at the time. But now that they got them so big, I'm actually keeping them out here testing to see how well they do. Um, thank goodness the weather is not as cold as it was during the last winter or that very, very cold winter that we had. Um, so they're doing well. Actually, these guys do need their cold chill time. So they're actually doing well. Uh, this here is our What is this? this is our plum tree. Yeah, this is a plum tree. It's doing well. It just hasn't given us fruit Hopefully next year will give us something What we have here are our Asian jujube trees these are your long jujube and sugarcane jujube Which is actually doing very well and they are fruiting doing very nicely this actually used to be on the other side of the house, which is in back there. I moved them over here because the leaves were getting very, very badly sunburned. So to prevent that, I don't want them to get any burnt than they already are. And since they are fruiting, I don't want to damage them. So I brought them back to this side, which is a little bit cooler on the end of the day. So that way they can have the best chance of surviving and bearing fruit. Same thing with this Lagrifum here. It was getting burnt. I brought them on this side so that way they'll be all nice and shady. So now that this is doing very well, what we have here is our citrus tree. Asian citrus tree. Actually no, this is our tangerine tree. Take it back. It is our mandarin honey tangerine tree. This is doing very good. Right here is what we have our pomelo. It, this is our pomelo. Um, it's been off and on. We haven't had very good good success but this year we are able to bear some very big fruit hopefully they'll get bigger and as time goes by it looks like right here a bird's been trying to get at this guy for a bit right there it looks like someone's been trying to get to this one hopefully no one's gonna bother it too much there is a little pecking right here and we'll see how that goes this is our double rose knockout lollipops and we have another bed right here carrying the same kind of plants for some reason we use the same old dirt that we had before and I forgot what these were in here but they seem like to be the same kind of plants as this was so I'm guessing the seeds were still in the ground during the time when we replanted everything in this bed and now they're all popping up like crazy I'm leaving these little guys to grow let's to see what they'll turn into but hopefully they'll turn into what these are and now probably start moving them around the, the flower bed either that or just keep them right here and what we have here which is refruiting again which is now doing some blooms this is our Filipino calamansi tree 
which is doing very well. It always does very well during the, the fall time and the spring time. So this has always been a surefire bet for us. It's always done good. And this is our rose of Sharon. I like the way that sounds when it comes out on the rose of Sharon. We kind of planted in the wrong spot, but I don't really want to move it out of the way because it actually is doing very well. And I'm afraid that I'm going to kill it. We do have three star jasmine that I purchased and I'm still trying to figure out where we're going to put it so I leave them here. A lot of the plants that don't do so well in getting nursed, I leave them close to the water source so that way I can water them and wash them. I pulled these guys off of my friend's yard, my, one of my good church friend's yards. He had a couple of them and what they told me it's a white martel that had seeded in their garden and I pulled out some of them, actually three of them. This one's not doing so well. This one is actually thriving now which is good so I think I'm gonna get a white martel pretty soon I was hoping I would all three of them would survive but I guess they just didn't survive this one doesn't look like it's gonna make it let's see, test uh, maybe it will it's still green in here so this might still make it just gotta give it some time to nurse back to life hopefully it'll do good and so that pretty much wraps up this one side right here when we first bought this house it was fully fully green and mowing it was a pain in the butt. Not only that, this side of the house was always getting so much water. Um, it would have a lot of water holding on this side and it would create a lot of mosquitoes. And I just didn't want to have that. So we finally got up to the part where we decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and cover it all up. I'm going to make it look as nice as I could. And then that way we can put the plants down and this is the end result of it. Uh, this gun probably I believe this is our third version of making this side here and we're quite happy with it uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna change it right now We do like keeping all the fruit trees here on this one side and as well as the plants I have another holly here that I'm still trying to figure out where I do want to put this I have some eggplants growing right here I have another flowers that we flowers that we just buy and we haven't figured out where we want to put them we kind of keep them all over around where we can reach them and see them so that way when the time comes if we decide we want to switch out something here we switch it out or maybe in the front yard or maybe in the backyard we keep them all right here um, and that's pretty much it there are string lights that go wrap around the whole thing so in the night it does look pretty nice I'll do a a little walkthrough in the night as well or not really a walkthrough what I'll do is I just do a little video clip of the night so that way you guys can see that and so yeah and that's how it is and this is how it looks during the daytime like I said I made that little cover for the screen so that way when you're looking this, towards this side you won't see my garbage area which made this whole nice beautiful looking walkway look awesome and then when you would see that garbage it just I just threw it off. Hit that comment down below if you want to see more or know more about what's in this side of the heart house. I have a video for the garbage cover. I do have a video for my planter box that I made for it. Um, just stay tuned if you want to subscribe so that way you can see the next video when I do post it and hit that notification button so that way when I do know when I do make the video you'll be notified once I make it so yeah it'll help me greatly I do appreciate you guys watching I finally hit a thousand subscribers which is awesome so I thank you guys for helping me get there yeah let's continue with the video um, let me start off with this which is our vegetable garden I started this garden in May of 2022 we have here cucumbers we have okra we have cherry tomatoes and we have chili I have yet to get any I don't believe we're gonna get some right here maybe maybe so this is for my cucumbers. All right, there's some cucumbers growing right there. All right, getting some cucumbers in. The okra is doing very, very well, as you can see right here. Nice large okra. We have some hot chili peppers and our cherry tomato plant, which is doing very, very good. Um, if you're wondering what kind of soil is in this box, the soil only goes up to here. To the second part I did make a video of this so you'll see how I made this on this part there's a barrier I didn't fill it in all the way so there is a barrier that keeps everything from going all the way down so I didn't have to put so much dirt 
and soil in it. The soil mixture that I have here are basically just generic soil mixed in with black cow manure and black cow manure and worm castings. That's all I have here is just black cow manure and worm castings and that's what's in here and that's what's feeding everything. Um, at some point in three months what I'm going to do is I'm going to just throw down a little bit more fertilizer so that way it will go throughout the season. And it looks like I do have some weird bugs growing in here. Where are these bugs? What the heck are these weird bugs? Shoo, go away. Leave my plants alone, man. Yeah, so this is our little vegetable garden. We're just testing out. I've never done vegetables before. I've done a lot of fruit trees, as you can see back there. I have yet more on the other side, which I'll show you shortly. Um, this is our first time trying the vegetable side. I must say it's doing, it's doing okay. I might make another one and put it over here. Uh, I do have another space for it, so I'll probably make another one if we are successful with this. Maybe to make some cabbage, make some lettuce, cauliflower. Oh, sky's the limits. We'll, we'll see what we want to do here. This is a pink martel which is yet to bloom. Here you go. Everything that you're looking here. I started from scratch since the year uh, 2020. This has been an ongoing project. We just keep adding little things here and there. This was just done very recently. This was done maybe about a year ago. This was done two years ago. My very first pergola that we made. The patio. I did all of these all on my own. What I did with them is I basically made these one by one maybe about one or two a weekend until I finally got to the right length and size that I wanted it and then I made the pergola on top of it so that way we would have some shade and the shade wasn't enough so I made a second one and this is what the backyard looks right now shout out to my brother he made me these Pokemon cornholes which my kids love very very much there is a second one, but we keep it upstairs since we only need one to play out here. Kids and their soccer balls. And yeah, this is our garden. My wife loves roses, so we planted a lot of double knockout roses from Costco when they did have them on sale. And right now they are blooming and very, very healthy. Um, they're about to be at the end of their blooms. They're practically at the end of the blooms, to be honest with you. So they'll be coming up with new ones. But right now I wanted to show it to you while the blooms were here. We just planted these perennials for this. And this is my Tory gate, which I made about a year ago. Still standing along with my cement styrofoam waterfall. Yes, believe it or not, this looks like it's cement, which is true. It is cement. But if you look very, very closely, you see that it's made out of styrofoam core. Styrofoam core. Yep. And into a waterfall. If you're wondering what kind of drippers I'm using for this, this is just the connecting drippers that I use. The water line that's in here is the dripper water line that you do see around my garden. It's the same water line I use right there. That's what's in here connected to my pump that I got from Amazon. And yeah. We have an inland power that's from here, sourced to that box, which is straight to the conjunction box, to a power box, which my father helped me put in. So it's a whole lot easier in the night. You can see this all lit up. It's backlit from the wall. Yeah, it's a wonderful sound. It's held up through the time. We've had a lot of storms coming here and rain, and it hasn't budged one bit and it's still standing tall and doing very very well another set of double knockouts more roses cypress trees we have very lush and ever-growing vitex tree right here right there and all these cannas are all in bloom and doing thriving very very healthy more double knockouts another waterfall right here this is our live oak that we just got that we well not just got more like a year old now that we did plan in and this is the very first video you guys saw. It has gone through a little bit of adjustments. We got rid of two more chairs. 
we don't really need that many but it's still doing good it is a little bit messy but for the most part it's still very very beautiful I like the fact that the jasmine nails are starting to wrap around our little decorative plant our decorative deco here so that's pretty doing pretty well I kind of help it along by teaching it how to grow where I want it to grow just inserting it in places where I want it to to attach to so that way it'll wrap around nicely around my little decorative part here to fill it in a little bit which I do need to now that I remind myself I might as well start putting these guys in so that way they'll grow around the decoration here and train it like how I train my dragon fruit trees to grow there we go that looks better actually let me let me show you this way it's the dumbs there we go there we go and this is my favorite part because these are my favorite plants uh, my wife has her own very special part in her heart for flowering plants and fruit trees I especially like Asian fruit trees especially this one right here this is one of the fruit trees I grew up when I was born in Guam and yes I was born in an island that doesn't really have that many people from when I left it was only less than 30,000 people but this little tiny island did have a lot of abundance of fruit trees and one of the fruit trees that my grandfather had grown um, he had about maybe five to ten orchards of this one specific tree this is our sugar apple tree in Filipino terms it's called Atis and this has been here with us for about three years now um, every morning I come out here and I gather pollen from the flowers and I repollinate it I had pollinated it myself as you can see let me show you a little education of the Atis sugar tree these are its flowers Oh, it won't focus. Let me see if it'll focus right. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. I guess that's as good as it's gonna get. There we are. This is a female. Every time I pollinate it, I snap the petals off to remind myself that this has been pollinated. This female is already about to let go of its petals, and when it let goes of its petals, It'll look like this right here. There we go. Come on, focus, focus. Uh oh, a little windy, a little breezy, a little breezy. There we go. There we are. This is Enatis baby, yet to grow, but doing very well. Let's see if I have a bigger one. There's another one right here. Right there's one doing very well. Let's see if I have another one here. I know I have. I saw one somewhere around here. Uh, let's see where is it. There's a baby one right here. One more going right there. Yeah, there's just so much of this. All these will lead to potential fruit. I just have to make sure I pollinate them. I pollinated that one. This one has yet to open, which will probably open tomorrow. This has been pollinated. That's been pollinated. There's another one there that had pollinated. But yeah. What I feed this, I actually don't give it anything other than cow manure. Or black cow cow manure. Uh, when the time comes when I believe I started it. Yeah, I started it on Easter. The day after Easter, I started giving what I what is called uh, Flora Nova Bloom. Yeah, Flora Nova Bloom. It's a high concentrated artificial uh, bloom stimulator. Um, I give it in five gallon buckets, so you only need five teaspoons of the, the yeah, you only need five teaspoons mixed in with water. I give it with five gallons of water, a teaspoon for every gallon, so I use a five gallon bucket. So you got five teaspoons, and I also throw in a cup of Epsom salt. The Epsom salt helps the roots absorb the nutrients I'm giving it. And it force feeds it to bloom more, to to be a help, whole lot more stronger. So that's what this does. Same thing with all my dragon fruit here. I have about nine or eight different varieties of dragon fruit. Here. It's crazy in how I first started this. Um, I started them when they're very very small. Uh, this is a really three-year project that I've been starting. 
and yeah I mean I have one two three four five six seven eight pots all in 25 gallon pots and they're doing it all on their own uh, right here if you can see this is actually a bud that's right growing right now growing on a Vietnamese white so this is a Vietnamese white this very very aggressive thorny looking one that has a different you can tell some of them they do have different varieties a Vietnamese white has rolling rolling curves this is uh, Ecuador yellow poloro which you can tell has sharp curves if my camera would focus I'm sure you guys might not know what this is but this is a yellow poloro I do have another root growing right there I have a bud growing right here this is a vegetable a Vietnamese white growing there's another bud right there growing and it's it's there it's mature enough to bud it we had a lot um, last year so I'm hoping and praying that this year we are gonna have a lot right now it's actually looking like we're going to have a lot and this alone I do I, I counted I have five on this one right now but that's still early on this one alone I do have about less than a dozen almost to a dozen about 10 I believe when I counted it but these ones are doing a whole lot better you can see them better there's a bud right there there you go we have bigger ones right here which is looking really really awesome there's another one right there and yeah it, this is a mix of Vietnamese white and purple haze yeah Vietnamese and white and purple haze the crazy thing about these dragon fruits when you buy them at the market you buy them per pound and sometimes like your traditional Vietnamese whites they cost about five dollars to six dollars even eight dollars a pound the yellows the yellow polaris they can go up to ten dollars to even 15 bucks a pound for one fruit which is crazy and this is the end of my garden tour here uh, just to show you a quick overview again one more time here we are and here's this part practically ends it here I'm running out of daylight so I'm gonna end the video here I hope you guys like my garden tour um, it's not too much to look at but I did do a lot of things here and I hope you guys appreciate it as much as I have um, I enjoy every minute I get to hang out here and hopefully you guys did too for the little time that you guys were able to watch it uh, feel free to comment down below with if anything questions that you have um, Till the next time, I hope you guys subscribe and like this video and I'll see you then. Bye.